So guys, I'm pretty excited in today's video. I've been waiting for this to arrive for quite a long time. This is the Philips Screenio U5. It's a 4K UST laser projector. I made a pledge on Indiegogo around six months ago now, and it's finally arrived. It's been a long time coming because I've been waiting to set this up with my projector screen right behind me, 120 inches. Really excited to unbox this, showcase the capabilities of it. When I first pledged it, I got a super early bird pricing of 1700 pounds. That was around 48% off the retail price. So this may have gone up now, but do check out the link for all of the pricing information. Let's go ahead and open this up. Don't want to delay any further, get it set up and give you some sample demo videos with this in both daylight and dark conditions. Test out the audio quality, run through all of the key specifications because this does have Android TV built into it. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. Okay, so I've just opened the box. So right on top, you can see this comes with four different types of power plugs. You only need the one that's matching the country that you're in. So I'm gonna use the UK one there. Comes with two AAA batteries for the remote control. Remote control has all of the key buttons that you'd expect. It's got Disney Plus, Prime Video, and YouTube already on there. Then you also have a quick start guide. So let's move these all to the side. You have the projector right at the bottom. If you want to check the dimensions and the weight, check the link in the description for the full specifications. So now let's take a closer look at the design of this new projector. Okay, so I've just got it on this little shelf and I'm gonna be setting it up shortly, but let's just take a quick look at the design. You can see it's got the printed logo, DLP 4K HDR Ultra HD. So one thing I do like about this is this is 4K native by design. On the bottom right corner, you have a power button. You've got your laser inside there. Let's take a look at the backside of the ports. So you've got the ethernet port, a coaxial auxiliary, the SP diff, VGA, two HDMI ports and two USB ports. The second HDMI port is an eARC, so you can very easily connect this to a soundbar just to increase your audio experience if you wanted to. So a very nice, clean setup, very straightforward. So I'm excited to go ahead and then turn this on, run through the Android TV 11, see what the options are in there, and go through some of the settings and play some demos. Okay, I've turned on the projector, I've gone through the setup process, and I've logged into a couple of apps. Now I just wanted to mention, although I am using a white screen here, laser projectors are best used with ALR screens. And I'll be having an upcoming video, which once released, I'll link in the description and I'll put it at the end of this video. This you can see on the Android TV, some of the apps, it's skewing upwards just on that list there. When you go into settings, it will look kind of wavy. That is purely because of the waviness of this fabric on this normal basic 100 pound white screen. I always recommend if you do get a UST laser projector, you need to have a completely flat surface and ideally mount an ALR screen. So keep an eye out for that video, but in today's demo, I'll just showcase how this looks on a white screen like this, in case most of you guys will have this type of setup. So let's just run through some of the settings. And if you just ignore the waviness, if we go into projector settings, this is where you can set the Dolby Vision size. You can also set the gain as well. I'll just leave it on the default, which is 100 and 1.6. If you go into calibration, this gives you a eight point keystone correction. So it's very easy if you wanted to make adjustments. I've already made some adjustments to make it a little bit smoother along the sides rather than quite wavy, but you can see from the top edge, it's a little bit wavy purely because of this screen. If I do close the screen, and it projects on the shutters and the wall behind it. It's completely flat and it looks absolutely smooth. So just bear that in mind when you are viewing this demo. But keep an eye out for my next video, which will showcase the true capabilities when I set it up with my brand new ALR screen that I've ordered by VividStorm. You also have focus adjustments if you wanna do any manual focusing. If you go into display mode, front desktop is the default one, like I've placed it on that shelf near to the wall, but you can mount it in various different positions like you've seen here. You also have eye protection mode. This is set to on. 
If you walk in front of the projector or in front of the laser, it will automatically turn it off temporarily because it can hurt or damage your eyes if you do stare directly into it. So make sure you don't walk in front of it. And then finally, when you go into lighting settings, you can change it from a highlight, standard or energy saving. I'll leave it on highlight because I want to showcase its maximum brightness and how this looks in its peak performance. You can go to your list of apps that you've installed and ones that you've seen recently. And then you have your Android TV with all of the apps as you expect. Now, before we go ahead and play some demos, let's run through some of the key specifications of this projector. So as you can see on this screenshot, this is true 4K UHD native, which is absolutely great. It has a 0.21 throw ratio, so it can get very close to the wall and give you a very large size. In terms of the sizing, this can actually project up to 120 inches by the projector being only 11 inches away, but it can go all the way up to 150 if you place it just 16 and a half inches away from the wall or the screen. One of the main reasons why this is actually a very affordable projector is because they've made cost savings by this being a single laser projector rather than a lot of the premium projectors you may see online, which are triple laser projectors, which of course are very expensive. So this comes in at 2200 ANSI lumens, which for me personally is the brightest I've ever had in any projector. Of course, this is my first ever laser projector, albeit it's a single laser. If the triple laser projectors, you can expect upwards from 3000, maybe even 4000 ANSI lumens. So just bear that in mind if you want something that's going to be used in very bright rooms where there's a lot of sunlight, maybe a triple laser projector might be right for you. But if you're generally going to be watching this in a room which is dimly lit or maybe watch your content at nighttime, then this is more than capable to look absolutely great. It also comes with HDR10 with Dolby Vision and we're going to be playing back a video demo from Dolby Vision themselves. This also has something called Flow Motion 4. Now Flow Motion 4 basically is a frame rate upscaling feature. It adds artificial frames in between different pictures that you're watching based on your content. And this works best when you watch very high performing content such as sports games or even high action movies like a car chase scene for example and it makes everything seem a lot more fluid and smooth and like i'm showing android tv 11 but it also has chromecast built in so you can wirelessly stream your android devices to the projector and also use google assistant voice commands to open up various different apps or your content like i also showed you eight point calibration for making sure it's accurately placed in between your screen and your wall sizes it's got eye protection, so if by chance you accidentally walk close to the projector where the laser can actually see you, it will dim the screen completely so that it wouldn't really shine in your eyes or actually hurt you. And then finally, it has Dolby Atmos, which is a room filling sound experience, and we'll be testing an audio demo from Dolby Atmos themselves. In addition to that, you have 25,000 hours of playback with the laser in this projector. To put that into context, if you watch content eight hours a day with this, this will last you 10 years, but anything less than that, you pretty much have a great lifetime worth of, of home cinematic viewing. And the final thing I just wanted to mention is that if you do connect an external source like a Blu-ray player or even a 3D movie that you've connected via a USB hard drive, then you can actually watch 3D content on this and make it seem like a very cinematic experience in the theaters. So that if you do have 3D glasses at home, then this is something that you might even want to explore. Okay, now it's time for a demo of a video from Dolby Vision. This is playing back in 4K, 60 frames per second, HDR is on. And you can see there's still a lot of daylight coming into the room. I've not closed any of the shutters. I've not made it black out. So let's see how it performs and how well the quality is coming through.
So let's go ahead and now see the quality when I do black out this room and make it pitch dark. Just going to pause it there this is amazing this actually brights up the room completely even in darkness the colors are so vivid it, the visuals with dolby vision it's the best projector that i've ever owned and for the price that i've actually paid for it it's one of the best investments that i've actually made in such a very long time if you are an avid fan of home theater systems definitely check out the philips screenio u5 they've really gone that step further from the huge success of the previous U4 models. And from me just having a look at the competition for other projectors that are single laser and have very similar specifications to this one, this was actually cheaper than all of them. Of course, now that the price may have increased, it's back onto its retail market price. It may not be the cheapest one out there for a single laser projector, but most of the brands that I've compared this against are brands that have come from China that are not very well known and are not household names like Philips. But now let's go ahead and listen to how the audio quality is using Dolby Atmos. And I'll be playing a demo video back from that and I'll be putting my microphone slightly closer to the projector. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sits the mood of the scene. Whoa, who is this place? Wow. Come on, guys, let's go. Or captures the full extent. Do you want to know my secret? Of nature's fury. this it's just the beginning of dolby vision because what you thought was black isn't this is black this is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen this is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema. Hopefully you guys heard that very clearly. 
just remember how I see it and how I hear it in person is slightly different to how you guys might be watching this video, whether you're on your laptop or on your phone. Make sure to always wear headphones when you do listen to demo videos and audios like this. But for me personally, this is one of the best sounding projectors. Of course, at this price range, you're going to expect one of the best and highest qualities, especially when it comes to audio that fills the entire room, giving you that immersive experience no matter what you're watching. So my final thoughts on this, it's one of the best projectors I've ever owned. This is my now number one projector that I will use in my bedroom here to watch all of my movies. And even if you wanna use this for gaming, you can set up your next gen gaming with this. 4K 60 Hertz is its maximum gaming capabilities. That will give you a very good frame rate for all of the different types of gaming you want to do. Of course, it doesn't max out at 120 Hertz if you want to really try next gen gaming. But for the most part, and for most games you might want to play, this is absolutely great. And you can just see the colors in this, how vivid it is, how sharp and clear the image is, especially with HDR content, which have been played back in 4K. This is an absolutely great visual watching experience. So let me know what you guys think of the Screenio U5, brand new, just released. Now they've started shipping. You may get this a lot quicker now that it is on public sale. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you do like the look of it, the quality of it and how it sounds, make sure to like this video. Keep an eye out for my next videos where I will be setting this up with an ALR screen. So the video quality that you're actually seeing is gonna be 10 times better than what it is. So keep an eye out for that. And I will do a comparison of ALR screen versus white screen to showcase the actual differences and if it's actually worth buying an ALR screen. So keep an eye out for those and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.